Hi, today we'll be creating an outbound scenario, sending master data from SAP to our Kafka broker using the Kafka adapter developed by Advanco. The first thing we need to do is identify our topic. For this scenario, I'll be using Devmos P75. Identifying a topic is important because this is where our data is going to be published. After we open up our topic, we go to schema. Here is where the value schema and key schema are, are presented. <clears throat> the value schema acts as our payload, and here is where we identify the format, which is Avro. We do the same thing for the key right here, and we identify that it's Avro format as well. First, we have to start with our setup in PO using our integration configuration. First, we need to identify our SAP sending system, which is right here. The next thing we need to identify is then our sender IDOC channel, which is right here. After we specify those two, we then go into our receiver interfaces, and we see that our communication component is Kafka right here, and below is our operation mapping, where we specify the mapping for this scenario. After we specify our nap mapping, the next thing we need to do is go under outbound processing. Under outbound processing, again, you select your communication component, which is Kafka, and then you want to set up your communication channel. Here is where we set up the receiver channel for the scenario. By double clicking on this receiver channel, you will then be directed to a window that opens like this. After this window opens up, you want to go under connection parameters and identify your host. After your host is identified, then you want to go under authentication mechanism and select your authentication mechanism. For this scenario, we have SASL plane, and then we use our username and password. After that is done, we then specify our topic. Our topic is given to us in Confluent. After our topic is specified, we then go and specify our client name. Here is where the most important part of this scenario takes place in the setup, where we set our record key value to the Avro payload as identified in Confluent, and then we specify our custom payload to retrieve the customer number we use variable substitution. Here, as you can see, we have our custom payload identified as Cooner, and then our placeholder, which means at runtime, it goes into the XML payload and replaces our placeholder with the customer number. To show you how this variable substitution is set up, we need to go to advanced settings right here. Under advanced settings, we see the reference where uh, our value is located, and then we see the value that we're trying to retrieve. After that is done, we then go into our source format. IDOCs are usually an XML format, so our source format is XML. Afterwards, we identify our target format right here, which would be JSON. After that is identified, we then go back into our Kafka settings right here and set our record data format to Avro because that is the format that we need our data in. And we receive and the reason this happens is through the schema registry. After you select your schema registry, you go in and identify the registry URL with your username and password, and then the payload key and value that we received from Confluent. <clears throat> what this does is that the adapter uses the Avro schema from the registry to serialize the Cooner to the Avro format so that it is now usable. Finally, to demonstrate that our integration configuration is successful, we need to send an IDOC to our P075 system. In order to do this, we open SAP and identify our customer right here. Our output type is Devmos, and our system is P075. After you identify these, we then execute the process by clicking these two check marks right here. And then after it's sent through, we want to go to our message monitoring process. There's a couple ways we can monitor our messages. The first I'm going to show you is in PO. In order to see our messages in PO, what we want to do is open up the PO system and then go under configuration and monitoring home. After you click on that, you'll be directed to a window that looks like this. You want to then click on adapter engine 
and then message monitoring. After you click on message monitoring, we see here that we can select the latest hour of messages. And then when we refresh, we can see that our receiver component, our Confluent Kafka broker, has five messages right here. And if I click on these successful messages, it'll then bring us to this window where we can see the time and exactly what was delivered right here. We see that it was delivered successfully here in PO. Another way to identify these messages is to go to our Kafka workbench. So in order to do that, we go into our Kafka workbench, we go under our connections, and then we see right here we identify this connection, plain authorization. We then go to connect and perform actions. And then we identify our topic that we identified in Confluent. So here, our topic is Debmos 7 underscore P75. After that's selected, it'll show us the latest offset of the message payload that was sent through right here. As we can see, it was successful here as well. Now, the last portion of monitoring our messages and to make sure they've successfully gone through, after identifying our offset and our Kafka workbench, we can then go into Confluent and type in that exact offset. So here we see the offset is 211. So in order to see the latest offset, we see that the message has gone through right here, 211. As you can see, using the Advanco Kafka adapter, it's quick and easy to connect to Kafka.